Hey you guys, welcome uh, welcome back to my channel which is Kia Love or Lady Eye Candy. So today I'm going to hit you guys with a double whammy. This first video is going to be a little segment that I do on Twitter called Word of Advice. Which is simply I just, if not every day, then every other day I post a little saying on Twitter. I decided to carry this over to YouTube, but but this time be more in depth with what I'm talking about. The second part of this video will be how I choose this look right here, which I think is really pretty. But anyways, back on. So today my segment says, be careful who you call your friends. Yeah, they might come through at times, but it takes real time to tell the truth. Roman, Rome wasn't built in a day. What I meant by that is because this year alone, I have been put through so much. Um, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, I have been put through a lot of different tests. And within that test, I felt like time has really given me my answers as far as... Um, where, I, where I'm going in my career, where I want to be at, or where my relationship has gone from at the beginning of the year to now, friendships, everything. Um, time tells, time gives me answers. We all know that from the day we was born, well, I say kindergarten to the day you die, you will have friends. Regardless if they real friends, fake friends, best friends, temporary friends, seasonal friends, whatever. We all have friends. <clears throat> now, within those within those friends, or within those categories of friends, we realize that all of them are grouped with how much time you give them. You know what I'm saying? I give my best friend, or your best friend, you supposed to get most of your time, to most of your energy, most of your secrets, etc., etc., etc. This year, I tell you, I have literally, literally been challenged. <laughs> I've been challenged. Um, spiritually, I've been challenged. Physically, mentally, emotionally, I've been challenged. My friends know that I go through these little phases where I get into my box. When I get into my box, I want to be alone. I just need to, to think and analyze my surroundings, my, my, my situation, where I'm at, where I want to be. Now, <clears throat> to be more on topic, to stay on topic with what, what, my, what my advice said today, I was put in a situation some months ago with a friend. We were in an altercation. Let me cut this down. Okay, so I was put into a situation. We were in an altercation. Um, and ever since then, we have not really been able to come back together. It's either I was doing something, she was doing something, or it was awkward to where something would happen. Now, I discussed this with Untamed Tame. As you know, in my other video, I talked to you about how I met her, how she was an amazing person. These are, this is one of the this is one of the other topics that we talked about. She explained to me the reason why we cannot no longer be together or find that common ground again, not only just because of what happened, but the fact that we are at two different phases. Um, right now I'm at my transition phase to where I am letting go of a lot of things, forgiving, forgetting moving on, becoming more positive, and is trying to better myself because I have a five-year goal plan that starts now because I'm about to be 23. And um, before I'm 30, I have big, you know, small and big goals that I want to accomplish. So anyways, um, I guess in her life at the time, she was going through a lot. And if you know, regardless of religion you're about, you know that when you, when you get to the point to where you analyze yourself, and when you want to become better, the devil is all around us. It's, he's everywhere. 
And when you start to do better or when you know that you are meant to do more than what you're doing right now and you go from being this way to another way, he will try to throw anything and everything in your way to block you, to stop you, to detour you from your mission. So, what does the devil have to do with the situation? Okay, I'm not calling my friend the devil, so don't get that mixed up. I'm not calling her the devil. But what I am saying is that I'm at a point right now to where I don't let a lot of things bother me anymore. I used to let um, what people say, think, feel. Um, I used to be so dependent on, you know, like, well, not dependent, but I used to be snappy or didn't care. And when I realized that, okay, it's about me, all about me. I'm not being selfish, but I'm being selfish. What I mean by that is, I know what I want. I know my worth as a woman. I know my worth as a, um, just, I know my worth. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. I know what I will put up, and I know what I won't put up with. And, um, I was not able to come back with her like this. We wasn't able to be like this no more. Every time we was together, it was like this. Back to the devil situation. The fact that I feel that I was in my transition phase, and he knows your weakness. The devil's going to know how to attack you, regardless if your weakness is your friends, family, whatever. He knows your weakness. And he knows that I consider my friends as being my family. So I really care what my friends say. And that's what I meant by saying being dependent on what my friends say. I'm not talking about people who I just met on the street or people who I say, hey, how you doing? I'm talking about my real, real, real friends. Because to me, my friends are my family. So, <clears throat> one night, when I tell you it was the quiet before the storm, we were so cool, laughing, ha ha, he he he. And later on that night, when I tell you it was a straight, we almost fought. We've been friends since the seventh, maybe the seventh grade. And we were about to fight for reasons that was just stupid. You know, it didn't have to, I didn't disrespect her, she didn't, uh, she didn't disrespect me. But he found a way to try to detour me, to take me outside of my character. And I, I admit, for a quick second I did. He almost had me, he almost got me. But when I looked into her face, and I looked into her eyes, and I seen that it wasn't her. And I said, you know what? This is the devil. You know what I'm saying? And so, I handled the situation, we didn't, we didn't fight. And the next day, you know, she apologized, and et etc. But we was never able to, to, to be back friends the way we were before, which is understandable. And why I keep bringing up the devil? Well, like I told you, me and Terry was talking about this, and she told me that when you're at a better place in life, and the devil knows that we can no longer coexist. What I mean by coexist, which means that I have seen the devil, right? I've seen the devil. So now he knows that, okay, she knows who I am. I cannot get her with this no longer. So now he, we cannot, we cannot be back. I'm not saying that I'm above her and she's beneath me or vice versa. I'm just saying that I'm at a better point in my life right now. And I'm starting to really recognize what's real and what's fake. I'm not calling her real, I'm not calling her fake. What I mean what's real and fake, which means is that what's real to me is bettering myself, being a better person, wanting more, becoming more, becoming successful. Um, and what's fake to me is, you know, just following everybody, keeping up drama, keeping up mess, fighting. Um, materialistic things mean nothing to me. Yeah, I walk around with my makeup on and my little nice earrings, but that means nothing to me. Um, and I really believe this. And you know, when she when she told me that, I had to really call and say, "You're right. You know, you're you're so right." 
another example that maybe y'all can relate to. If you are female, <clears throat> let's say you were younger and you wore your little booty shorts and your breasts all out and you had all kind of guys coming to you. Old and young, you know, every day you had five, ten guys trying to come after you. And then as you matured, maybe you had a child and you realized, okay, this is not right. I don't want to be like this no more. You know, this is not a good look for me. And then you started covering up more. And you started walking differently. You started talking differently. You started acting differently. You started taking more things more seriously. You know, you was, you was doing the real. You was on your grown woman. And if you're a guy, you was on your grown man. And then you realize, well, dang, everybody who used to want to talk to me not talking to me no more. All the girls I used to hang with don't hang with me no more. And then you realize, that, okay, the people that are starting to come around you are people who back then you would have never thought you would hang around with. Why is that? The reason being is the devil. Real and fake. You know, that's what I mean by that. When you are at a better place, real recognize real. Fake recognize fake. So, because you went from, because you're at your transition phase, or maybe not even at your peak, since you're, I, I assume that you're much older or whatever, you're at your peak now. The reason why you cannot no longer hang with it, the reason why you don't no longer find interest or fun in going to those clubs or wearing clothes like that, or you may do it every now and then. The reason that is because you've reached your transition phase. You're no longer wanting to be a part of that. You see no interest in it. And people who are not at your level or on your level, like I said, I don't mean you're more than them. Because some people may have more than you. But if you know who you are as a person, what you want, you know, you have morals, you grow, you go through your phases, you will have all the riches in the world. Because money cannot buy you happiness. Money cannot buy you um Really anything that that is solid. Yeah, objects are solid, but that could be stolen. Your house can be burned down. It can be a flood. It can be anything. You can die. You would, you cannot be buried with, with your house or your clothes. You're buried with your morals. You know what I'm saying? And if you believe in spirit, you know, that's all you have. You have a soul. And, and, and okay, I'm really going off subject, but, um, off topic, but, um, that's what I mean by real. And know what you want. Know who you are as a person. Because when I tell you right now, everybody is following everybody. Everybody is doing what everybody else is doing. Nobody is really real. And then when you run across a person that's real, let's say, okay, I'm 22. A lot of people tell me I'm more mature because most 22-year-olds, most people my age, are on that BS. Don't know how to have a civilized conversation. Don't know how to do anything outside of text. Go to the club, wear short clothes, have babies. You know what I'm saying? I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just being honest with you all. Um, recognize real. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time in your adult life. Don't waste time with fake people. Don't waste your time trying to be someone else. Don't waste your time trying to make someone that's happy. Don't try to live nobody else's life. Don't try to do none of that stuff. Life is too short. You could die at any day, at any given day, at any given time. And if you lived your life in somebody else's shadow, or you lived your life trying to be somebody else, I mean, what, what do you have? You know what I'm saying? Dare to be different. That's what makes us us. Our uniqueness, our imperfections, our flaws, all that stuff is what makes us real. That's what makes people like us. That's what draws people to us is when you are yourself. You know what I'm saying? You, you live a better life when you're being yourself because when I tell you, yeah, I am going through a lot of stuff right now, but I don't let it bother me. Reason being is because I know that I am destined to be something much better than what I am right now. I am destined. And because of that, I would not allow the devil to, to detour me from my mission. Yeah, sometimes I have my weaknesses to where I want to go out every weekend. I want to dress all flashy. I want to drink. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to cheat. I want to do all that stuff. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? 
But when you realize that you were born with seven demons for the seven days of the week, you were born with seven demons on you that are trying to trying to break you down. Break you down every single day. And once you fall victim to allow everybody else to tell you what to do, allow everybody else to run your life, why do you think you have so much bad going on? You say, oh, I have bad luck or that's that. No, it's not bad luck. It's not. It's the devil. It's the devil. You allowed him in. You may not have known you allowed him in, but you allowed him in because you allow all that negativity. When you break down and go into a shell, to where you say, I'm just going to go back to doing this. I'm going to start selling my body. I'm going to start selling drugs. I'm going to start robbing people. That's not going to do anything for any devil. It's going to bring more harm on you. And when you live that kind of life, people, or as you say, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And that's true. Now, on a more positive note, um, like I said, I'm not trying to preach to nobody. This is only my opinion. If you know me, I'm not, I don't attend a church. I don't have a specific church, but I, be, I have a connection with my father, with God. And, um, I've had dreams, you know, and I've had epiphanies. I've had just awakening and I'm my transition phase. And I'm happy. I smile. You know, and everybody say, well, it's just the person you're with now. Yes, it has something to do with my relationship that I'm in now. Yeah. But it's mostly because I found peace within myself. I have forgiven people who have hurt me in my past. I have forgiven um, things that I, I didn't even think I remembered from when I was little. You know what I'm saying? That's how powerful. That's how powerful it can be. You know what I'm saying? When you let go of all that negativity, when you let go of all that stuff that holds you down and you go towards the light, when you, when you try to be more positive, it's not being fake. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't see here and put on a smile and preach like this and then go out there and sell drugs in my body and all the time to keep up drama and mess. If you know me, you know I've always been the same person. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said again, it's nothing more but my opinion, so you're welcome to comment if you like, but I'm just pretty much talking about things that, I, that I've been through, and where I'm at right now, and where I'm at right now, you could not pay me. There's not enough money in the world to get me to detour from where I'm at right now. I'm so happy in my skin. I'm so happy with where I'm at. Yeah, I may not have much because I don't even have a car right now. But guess what? God has managed for me to get from A to B safely. Um, I didn't have a job for a while. He's managed me to have two. Two of them. Now even three because I'm about to be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? In my other video, I talked to you about how I was doing stuff for free. Yes, it's times where I wanted to do stuff. It's time to where I wanted to give up on my dream because everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing makeup. Everybody's on YouTube. Everybody's doing hair. What makes me different? What makes people want to tune into me? But what that same thing that I doubted is what pushed me. The reason being is because I'm me. I have a story behind 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 all of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm much more than than my boobs and my and my hips. And all this stuff. I'm so much more. And once you get to know me, you gonna, you 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 see it. And that's why I say real recognize real. And that's why the topic is really about time. Because it took time. And I know that I'm still growing because I'm only 22. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> time tells, gives you the answers to anything you want to know. Anything you want to know, time will tell. Good or bad, we all learn, we all grow, we all we all have epiphanies, we all have our peaks, our lows, our in-betweens, but you have to push through it. Once you push through it, you will be able to smile, you will have a natural glow, you will know what you want, what you don't want, what you will, what you won't do, and what you will settle for, what you won't settle for. 
And it's not saying that you're going to be better than anybody else. God, y'all, I'm not trying to say to act like you're better than anybody else. But when you're at a better place in your life, yes, why not show it? Why not talk about it? The best gift I feel that I could bring to anybody watching this video is to let y'all know that you're not alone. You're not the only one that's been through something. You're not the only person who's been hurt. You're not the only person who don't know where they want to be at or didn't know or were so different from everybody else in your family or within your friends or at your school in your neighborhood to where you was in your own shell. You know what I'm saying? So what if you grew up with one or two friends? So what? You know those people who grew up with a whole bunch of friends, popular, this that, and the third. You look at them now. You look at them now. I can go through my Facebook and see how much time has changed for people. You know what I'm saying? In high school, they was on top, and as an adult, they have four children. You know what I'm saying? Or the people who didn't have nothing and look at them now, and they have everything that everybody else wanted. Or people, you know what I'm saying? Just Time tells. You need time to grow into who you are. You need time to learn what you want. You need time to see who's really there for you, who's not there for you. You just need time. Time answers everything. And when I say real and fake, again, it doesn't mean saying, okay, I'm real because I told you all and you fake because you didn't say no or because you didn't say nothing you fake. No. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just be quiet. You know what I'm saying? The best, the best fight you have against a person is the imposter. Because a person can only be negative but so long. You know what I'm saying? Until they say, well, I can't, I can't beat her down no more. Let me move on to the next person. Pain is temporary. Pain is temporary. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. If whatever you're going through, pain is temporary. Love. Um, empowerment, knowing who you are is forever. Never, never forget that, y'all. If I, if, if you, if, if you don't believe anything else that I say, if you don't want to believe anything, if you just say, oh, she's just talking, I'm serious. A lot of things that we go through and you think, oh my God, it's just the end of the world. When we was younger, if you lost your boyfriend or your boyfriend was like, oh, I don't want to be with you no more, you thought you were going to die. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as you grow with time, you realize that little things like that don't even matter no more. They don't matter. They don't matter. Know what you want. Know who you are. Know what you want to do. And never, never be afraid. Never be afraid to say who you are, what you want. You don't have to walk around here with an attitude. You don't have to tell everybody all. But there's ways that you do things. There's ways that you can carry yourself so you can get your point across without being rude, without being ignorant. And that's what we need to work on, you guys. Teach, teach the young people, our future, how to do this stuff. And we'll be a better place. Show or educate the younger people on morals not on materials. Morals. We need morals. More morals, y'all. Say it with me. More morals, less material, and we'll be a lot of better people. We'll be a better, a better world. Especially the black community because when I tell you right now, we are seriously making our ancestors turn in their graves. Because when you turn on TV, on these reality shows, these girls are acting and looking a mess in school, these girls are cursing out teachers, and all you gotta do is make a sex tape, have a big booty, um, do something ignorant, fight on a camera, stand on top of a restaurant chair and throw stuff, and you become famous. And that's okay. It's not. It's sad. It's sad. And if you sit here and try to do things positive and pick up behind yourself and go out there and try to make a difference, give a poor person a dollar, you are you a lame. You a nerd. Nobody wants to watch that. Nobody and, and that's that's what society is doing to us. Society and the devil. And I say the devil society as in the same because he knows our weaknesses. If if you're poor and if you know that you got a nice body and pretty smile, if you know all you gotta do is do a porno or do something that's degrading to get money, he's gonna play on that weakness. 
Some may do it, some may not, but you have to know your worth. Know that it's only temporary. And if you know that you have a gift, a God-given gift, use it. Use it to your advantage. I don't mean use your breasts and your butt and your and your sex skills. I mean your God-given talent. You know what I'm saying? If if you're blessed to work on, with, with your hands, if your hands are blessed, bless other people. If you have a beautiful voice, sing about empowerment. Speak. If you are well spoken, you have a people personality, bring positive energy. We need more of that. We need more of that on YouTube. We need more of that on TV. We need more of that in school. We need more of that at the home. I don't care if you had your child at 12 or 50. The mission is our future depends on what we do now. What we do now affects our future. And right now it's sad. It's sad. It's sad because the devil is really, really present right now. And if you don't believe me, look around. We have death. We have just everything. And it's sad. Y'all don't ignore this video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Follow me on Twitter at lady underscore lady 89. I will always post my word of advice segments on Twitter. And sometimes, give or take, if you like it or you want me to make a video explaining more in depth about what I'm talking about, then just let me know and I will make a video. But this video is long enough, although I would keep talking because I love to talk. But um, I'm going to end this video right now. So like I said, you guys, know the real from the fake and time answers everything. Bye.